Hello and welcome to the Steve Hanna Show for September 22nd, 2007. I've got some great issues to discuss today, so stay tuned. First up, a number of you on the forum wanted to hear about Britney Spears as a topic. I say, can't we just leave the, pearl, the poor girl alone? She's trying hard to raise her children, and I think she would make a wonderful parent for those children. And I am nothing, if not a good judge of character. On an unrelated note, if you don't already have your OJ for President lapel pin, please contact me at the campaign office and I'll get one to you as fast as I can. Next up, Mary Antoinette the movie. This is the movie that got booed at the Cannes Film Festival by the French. Of course, they don't really want to see Mary Antoinette humanized. So I decided I would watch this movie because I did a report in grade 11 or grade 9 or something like that on the French Revolution and Mary Antoinette was one of the figures of that, so I was interested in the history. Well. After watching it, I'm not so sure it was historical drama as it was a comedy because of the accents in it. Now, usually I'm not too picky on accents. For example, Robin Hood came out in the 90s. Kevin Costner with his American accent schooled a whole bunch of people with English accents in England. I didn't really care that there was an American playing was was supposed to be a, an English prince or, or an English lord. Um, that didn't bother me. Now, let's fast forward to Mary Antoinette. Do you remember Dodgeball? Do you remember the character Patches O'Houlihan, the guy in the wheelchair that was throwing horseshoes at people? Well, anyways, he plays the King of France. His first line was, Did you get a load of her bosom? So, so he didn't, I thought maybe it would be Patches O'Houlihan, you know, playing a different role. No, he was Patches O'Houlihan as the King of France. The dirty old Texan is what it sounded like. His mistress, was uh, sounded like she was from a New York brothel. She was saying things like, ain't got no class. They don't treat me with no respect. She was supposed to be the mistress of the King of France. Then you've got Kirsten Dunst comes over. She's supposed to be the Austrian princess that's marrying into the royal family. As soon as she crosses over, she's she's got the American accent. I guess that's not a big deal. Um, but she's, she's acting just like uh, the same role as Spider-Man, pretty much. But then, the best part is, the servants of the, the French royalty were all English. That she, she crosses the border and she gets her little assistant there and it's like, Please, come over the line! We've done this this way for 300 years! Or, or something like that. Um, all, all the servants are the ambassadors like, Enter the King of France! Uh, my favorite line of the show, however, was you've got the, the King of France, and all of his French advisors sitting around the table discussing the American Revolution and what they're going to do with it. And his, his lead French advisor leans forward and says, We can't let the English win the war. It's just really hard to, to hear this and not think, Wait, wait a minute, aren't, aren't you English? Anyways, this is a really heated issue, this next one. Mixed martial arts. The Vancouver City Council has decided to ban mixed martial arts in Vancouver. So, I really didn't see this one coming. Martin Luther King must be rolling over in his grave. I thought segregation was a thing of the past. White people have been fighting with black people for the last 40 years, no problem. Sure, it's been a while since we've had a white champion in anything competitive, but still. Uh, Steve Nash in the NBA proved that white people can still compete on a global scale. So why? is the Vancouver City Council coming in here and legislating that we cannot, we can no longer have mixed martial arts. I can understand keeping the girls out of it, they could get hurt. And wheelchairs do belong in their own division. I just don't see how the kicking would work. It would be unfair, oftentimes wheelchair people, their legs don't work. And martial arts, kicking is a big part of that. But just simply separating the, the races just seems wrong. Um, we do have Vancouver City Council on the line. I wanted to ask them what the rationale was. Um, I'll just pass through the feed. Hello, uh, welcome to the Steve Hanna Show. You're live. Hello. Uh, there seems to be a technical difficulty with the feed. We'll see if we can get that sorted out and, and get them back uh, before the end of the show, which is coming up quickly. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it, oh, oh, I got a phone call. Maybe it's them. Maybe it's them. Hold on, hold on. Hello, you're live on the Steve Hanna Show. Uh, 
Yeah, the the mixed martial arts. Uh, yeah, I'm already there. Oh, is it? But I see. Okay, okay. I think I can still mend this one. Thanks. Okay. Um, evidently, I was wrong about the mixed martial arts. They're not segregating blacks against whites. Whew. Thank God, because I didn't want to live in that world. But now that I see what they're doing, oh, what, what it is is uh, apparently there's multiple different martial arts competing against each other. Now that I understand what they're doing, I see the logic in it. If we allow mixed martial arts, essentially completely different sports, to compete against each other, what is to stop sports like ping pong and tennis to start going against each other? It's people could get hurt. This is wrong. Ping pong is a separate sport from tennis. Just because they both have paddles or, or rackets and they're hitting balls does not make them the same sport. If that tennis ball comes rocketing at 100 miles an hour at a ping pong paddle, not only is it going to break the paddle, but it could give the ping pong player carpal tunnel syndrome. It is not a good plan. And those are even two related sports. What if it spreads to things like hockey and basketball? I don't want to be sitting through a game between Michael Jordan and Wayne Gretzky. First off, Michael Jordan is going to have a heck of a time bouncing a puck, not to mention the traction that he is not going to have on ice. Or what are we going to do, suit up the basketball players with skates? Simply ridiculous. Much easier to draw the line at mixed martial arts and we don't have to deal with any of these ugly issues ever again. And that's all the issues I have for today's show. Thank you for tuning in to the Steve Hanna Show. Leave your comments on the blog or on Facebook or wherever you're uh, enjoying the show and tell your friends. Thanks and good night.